Dr. Sanchez and welcome to my YouTube channel. First of all, thank you for coming back. I know it's been a while. I haven't really been making videos that much because I've been super busy with work and applying to fellowship and all of these things. If you haven't been here before, I am a fourth year general surgery resident. Yeah! And it's five years total, so we're almost there. I am currently on a thoracic surgery rotation and I'm gonna take you through my day on thoracic surgery. <laughs> Word on thoracic surgery as I drive to work. Uh, thoracic surgery, basically surgery of the thorax and its structures, which makes sense. It include really cardiac surgery, although they do work on some cases with the cardiac surgeons. It's kind of a joint effort. Generally speaking though, if you are a thoracic surgeon, you get trained uh, cardiothoracic, so there's no separate routes as of now. You have to do a cardiothoracic or thoracic fellowship, which includes both the cardiac and the thoracic surgery. I've been on thoracic surgery now for a month and a half. It's been going well. We've done a ton of different cases. We've done anything from lobectomies to esophagectomies, doing a lot of tracheostomies, which is putting a tube down somebody's throat, their windpipe, so that they can breathe. Peg tubes, which stands for percutaneous endoscopic gastrostomy. It's quite literally a tube that we put through the abdominal wall directly into the stomach. We use a scope, which is a long tube with a camera that we put down the person's esophagus to do this. We've done some hiatal hernias, which is when the opening in the diaphragm is enlarged for whatever reason and abdominal contents kind of herniate up into the chest and that is a problem. I love hiatal hernias, so they've been great. <laughs> Overall, I can tell you guys that this rotation has been really good. I love thoracic surgery. I think it's super interesting. Get to see a lot of different pathologies. So you have really sick patients and then you have patients that go from really sick to doing really well. Just enjoyed it overall. Everybody's very easygoing, very easy to work with, which also makes things a million times better. <laughs> so it's been a good experience so far. Am I tired? Yes, I'm always tired. I've not been not tired in, I don't know, since before med school, but it's fine. It's enjoyable. I love what I'm doing. I'm getting I'm just really happy that it's <laughs> like daytime and I'm driving to work. Usually it's dark, but today I got to come in a little bit later because we're starting a little bit later this morning. It's not super late, it's like 7 a.m. still at like 6.45, but we're not starting till like 8.30, so that gives me an hour at least to get everything done, see all the patients. First thing I do when I get to the hospital is usually go and find a computer, and then I look up all the patients, I look up their vitals, any events that happened overnight, any changes or any new medications or anything that was done that you know I might not be aware of. And then I go see all of those patients. I think right now we have, I don't know, between eight to 10 patients on the list. So I'll go see all of them. Make sure that there's no acute, you know, craziness happening this morning. And once I do that, then I will head over to the first case typically. Or rather, I, I usually head over to the pre-op to see our first case and update their history and physical. I need coffee. I have what I like to call a coffee addiction. It gets better. It goes in waves. Sometimes it gets better temporarily and then it just kind of worsens a little bit. Right now we're in the worsened period because I have... <laughs> I have an exam coming up and applications for fellowship and there's just not enough hours in the day. <laughs> but you know what? Living in South Florida, it's it's the perfect place for coffee. I mean, everybody offers you coffee. Yesterday, I walked up to a nursing station and there was a patient. I think it was a, a patient's family member that walked up with a little, it's essentially straight espresso with sugar. And she was like, hey, you want some? And they give it to you in like this little tiny shot glass because you probably shouldn't drink more than that. <laughs> and I was like, sure thing. And I drank that. And then I went over to the surgeon's lounge after a case, like halfway through the day. They did the same thing. They had the whole little, it was freshly made. It smelled so good. And then I had another one. <laughs> the restriction on masks and this feels illegal like I'm about to walk into the hospital without a mask bold move of me to take the stairs this early in the morning but 
the elevator is taking forever and they called me about a patient that's waiting. Okay, we just went and did a bronch for a patient that was bleeding from their airway. Uh, it was not a significant bleed, so everything's okay now. We do actually have to wear masks in patient rooms. So usually once I start rounding, I just wear my mask. Oh my God. Nice, it's festive here, I love it. We don't really have to show you guys this one too. <laughs> it's like the Wizard of Oz. Basically this morning we started with an EGD. We put a scope down somebody's mouth into their stomach. We dilated a portion of their esophagus that was a little bit tight. This masterpiece is a cortadito con amor. You order it as, you call it a cortadito con amor. It has like whipped cream and cinnamon. This is what keeps me alive. A certain amount of caffeine. We're about halfway through the day. We have two more cases and we still have to round on all the patients within attending. It's a good day so far. <laughs> Then we did a navigational bronchoscopy, which is super cool because they quite literally use a CT scan to create these like 3D images where you stand in front of this robot looking thing with arms that are connected to a bronchoscope. You put it in the patient and then they hand you what looks like an Xbox remote, I kid you not. And then you use this kind of 3D, 3D guidance to guide the scope to the area where the lesion or mass is that you want to biopsy. <laughs> I'm not Victoria. I don't know who Victoria is. Victoria, if you're watching this, somebody told me I could use this. I'm sorry. But look at all these things. Just finished writing up some consults that we went to see. Ooh, it's like 541. Actually, our last case got canceled. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see. I just want to share this because I genuinely had no idea what I was doing or what I was getting into when I got into residency and I've been enjoying it so far. <laughs> I think this is a really good rotation. I love thoracic. It's just, it's cool stuff and it feels good. <laughs>